Live from KTVN Reno, you're watching T News at 5. Governor Sisolak replaces Governor Brian Sandoval in Nevada's highest office. I'm Kristen Remington. And I'm Landon Miller. Thank you for keeping it here at 5 o'clock. Many other state and local leaders also took office today. And we begin with team coverage of the inaugurations. Elizabeth Olveta is live at the Washoe County Complex where newly elected and re-elected county officials took office today. That's right, but let's begin with Paul Nelson live at the state capitol for us tonight. Paul, I imagine there was a lot of excitement down there earlier today. Yeah, there was, Kristen, and not just for the elected leaders who took the oath of office today, but also their families and the people who were on hand for the inauguration. Governor uh, Sisolak says that he plans on working uh, on some of Governor Sandoval's uh, previous, uh, the work that he was doing trying to build on the economy, and that includes things like health care, but his number one priority is education. We've got to get our education system back on track because we know that's the bedrock of a thriving economy and the pathway to a better life for our families. Steve Sisolak was joined by his wife Kathy when he was sworn in as Nevada's governor. His two daughters and other family members were also in attendance. He thanked outgoing Governor Brian Sandoval for his service over the past eight years and wants to continue some of his work with things like workforce development and economic diversity. We're looking to the future too, investing in renewable energy, health care, electric vehicles, high tech, and other promising new industries. Three Nevada Supreme Court justices and five constitutional officers also took the oath of office today, and it didn't take long for Sisolak to get to work. Shortly after his inauguration, he signed an executive order creating a task force for sexual harassment and discrimination law. Now, Sisolak did get choked up a few times, including when he was talking about the Las Vegas shooting from 2017. He says the way Nevadans stepped up to the plate and helped out other people during that time, he said that he was never more proud to be a Nevadan. Covering the big story live, Paul Nelson, 2 News.